So dealing with an incident where there's degalvanation on the blades. Uh, this one's had a bit of an incident as well, but when you start hitting them, you can hear that, oh, bloody hell, there's a bit falling off already, look. The other thing I've got here is the anodes are not actually attached very well, and you can see they're clearly not working because they're loose. But uh, that's the least of our worries right now. Go and have a look at the other propeller that's been taken off. Just been tapping this one. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a propeller here, which I think is well worth you listening to. You can hear straight away, but it does not sound very good. Good old dad's hammer. Oh, here we go. There's absolutely no use. So you can safely say that is uh, suffer from uh, what's known as uh, degalvanization, so lack of anodes or incorrect anodes for the type of water. It's really important to remember that uh, anodes um, really magnesium in fresh water and then aluminium in either salt or brackish water. Now, a lot of you in America who watch this, or certainly possibly even in Australia, would be saying, no, 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 you should use zinc. But we, we know that using zinc is not good uh, for the environment, and actually the aluminium anodes actually are cheaper and work better. So there we are. Another little uh, day out on an inspection. You can certainly see when you look into that how it's all breaking down. You can hear it. That's the that's my telltale straight away. You can hear that there's no real ring to it. <laughs>